what's going on thanks for checking out my next video on drawing uh, anime poses and breaking the poses down and this time i'll be drawing baki and this is a picture that i had gotten from one of the the mangas uh, with baki in prison and uh, in the particular prison they had him wear these little finger cuffs where he has his hands tied behind his back since he's like one of the the world's strongest fighters and i guess they they put those on them uh, make it more difficult for him to get free from that even though his, his feet are loose so I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make but right now I am roughing out all the shapes I normally don't go through this process when drawing uh, my figures but for tutorial purposes I'm just doing this kind of break it down and kind of show the process of laying it down so right now I'm adding in the lines, the central line to define the shape and I add in the oval shape for the torso and I kind of I kind of separate it a little bit to kind of space it out as far as figuring out the size of his torso of, of the width and how far it goes um, goes down so right now I'm adding in the shoulders and I'm putting in circles for the shoulders where I think the shoulders are going to land and once once you um, are able to define and lay these shapes out and it's easy for you to kind of just drop in detail where, wherever it is as you see right now like I already know where the, the figure is going to go like I already know how I'm going to place everything onto the figure because I've laid everything down everything is laid down for me to figure out um, as I go along and since I'm using a pencil anyway I can just erase uh, as, as I see fit so right now I'm adding in the, the eyes the eyebrows try to get the eyebrows in detail and I also slow this video down a little bit more so that people can see the process a little bit better I know um, some, people, some people have made comments before saying that the video is going too fast it's okay well, let me speed up it just a bit where it's still sped up but at the same time it's um, it's a little slower you can see everything more you can see the construction lines a bit more to where you can lay them out yourself if you want to lay out and follow along to do this particular drawing and as you can see I can, I'm just getting in um, the detail I can to get his face I think I made his head probably a little bit smaller or bigger I'm not sure but at the same time I'm not trying to get too accurate just as more of a a, a warm up phase you can use this as a warm up you can use this if you want to you know, enjoy your own character or, or whatever just the process of uh, showing how to do it. Then each each line that I lay down and lay out for the figure aren't aren't even finalized. Like I'm just I'm throwing it down, and some may be darker, but at the same time I can just erase it whenever I want and and get rid of it. Now for the chest, you can see I'm kind of just um, putting in just just roughing in shapes, just making big shapes. Like you so saw when I did the chest, I just made a little a little uh weird circle and just rough the shape out and then once you just make a circle for the chest you can just go in there and, and alter it and, and stretch it out based on how his arm is going up right now i'm getting his uh, his lats in since you know, baki has those giant lats I'm getting his hair and i wanted to make this fairly quick so i didn't and it's really just a sketch that's why i didn't get too detailed into his hair as it kind of just uh roughed it out and just shaded it in to kind of get that just to get his hair in there but not really focus on it like if i was to ink it then i would go back and you know start doing the uh, thick to thin line streaks but uh, right now i'm just gonna get in there now i'm roughing in his his arm so i just go in real lightly for the arm just to get idea of where the shape is going to be then I start darkening it in going in for that final detail roughing in the shoulders and even with the shoulders you see that he has like um, multiple different shapes going on in the shoulders and also in his uh, triceps it's going down with his arm like leaning back towards his back and it's, it's not too hard I know a lot of uh the Baki characters has a lot of different crazy poses and different um, uh, 
martial arts styles and ways that their, that their arms and legs bends. And a lot of people always want to see a, a detailed video on that. So I say, okay, well, I'll, just, I'll do a lot of Baki characters and some Kengen characters to kind of show how it could possibly be, be done. And while you're at it, also hit that like and subscribe button to see more content like this. You want to see more uh, different muscle structures or uh, poses. Just hit that button. Don't be scared. Now I'm working in his that muscle detail on his arm going backwards. And as you see right here, I'm shading it in. And I could have just erased that circle where his head is but it's just a sketch so just uh, everything everything at this point is, is just rough and the artist himself did a, a really good job with this with his thing i'm not trying i'm not want to alter it any more than, than what he has on there I'm working in the uh the strap for his short 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 Not rough in detail. Now for the abs, I switched up a little bit because um, his abs look kind of funny right there in the in his picture, and I like the I like to have the lines in it. So I kind of I think that's one of the only things I've changed was that I kind of left everything else the same as far as you know the, the striation is coming out from the from the abs. But I wonder that not having a line in the middle of his abs was, was bothering me, so I just said let me. You just drop that in there, get that central line into it. Now for the legs, I'm going out um, the same as the arms, making a cylinder or like a half cylinder, since the other part of the line is, is covered by his other leg. Just to rough out the shape. Circle for the knees, circle for the foot. I think the foot was a little cut off, so I just kind of just focus more on the. Uh, Top portion of his body and then also his legs that you that's visible at least for the camera so darkening the eyes a little bit more more detail on that so maybe I might do a, a detailed video of Yuji Rohama's back I think I've done one before of Yuji Rohama's back but I might just do a version like this one that's more um a little slower that's easier to easier to see I think the last one I did was a faster video I might just do a slower one so right now working in the knees and one thing about this artist he just he goes crazy with these muscles muscles going all over the place with the knees and he got muscles uh, almost as if he's just Baki is like this super lean guy and I think it was one point where he did get super lean when um, he had a fight when he was poisoned, and he was lean then. And that was that was a pretty crazy fight. And he was still able to hold his hold his ground because I mean he is a a Hanma, but uh, it was crazy seeing him super skinny. I might I might even have a um, breaking down pose drawing one of one of his skinny forms because that was pretty uh, unique how how he looks. And I'm working in the details in those those legs. I think at this point it's pretty much finalized. And right now I'm just adding in, you know, some tweaks here and there. Um, uh, like I think I add the scars in because the scars were like the last thing I added in there. Sometimes I, sometimes I add the scars first, but the majority of the time I add the scars a little bit last just to add that final touch to it. Sometimes I won't really add the scars until the very end because, you know, if, if I'm erasing certain parts of his body, um, it'll be too much to keep retracing the body and then also you have to retrace the scars on the body. So I just save that as the final, final thing to do. So right now I'm just, I'm just laying in small details, adding in any lines that I miss. Um, you can I mean, you can draw this and you can be looking at an anatomy book and also you know, add in some things you don't see. Maybe there's something 
that's part of his muscle that that he didn't add and you can just you know, drop your own thing in there fix it up a little bit but that's it for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe all right take care